What does your watch say about you? You talking to me? Yes, you. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna go over five timepieces and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think these five timepieces say about you or whoever owns these specific timepieces. Now, I want you guys to get involved in this video and get in the comment section and let me know if you agree. But if you disagree, comment down below and let me know what you think these timepieces say about the person that owns them. Remember guys, to give the video a like, share the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Now, let's get into the video. So guys, the first watch is a Vacheron Constantine. It could be any model, but for this video, let's just say it's the overseas. This watch says that you're a serious watch collector. You're so serious that you're not even a Rolex fanboy anymore. You've passed that stage to where you might have around three or two Rolexes in your collection. The rest of your collection consists of APs, Pateks, other Vacherons, and some other pieces that you've collected throughout the years to mark certain achievements so they have sentimental value. If you have kids, they're in boarding school, or if they're not at that age yet, you have plans to send them away to boarding school. Bye! See you when I see you. Goodbye! Dang. And when these kids get older, they're going to talk to you and their stepmom like this. I guess we don't do dessert anymore. I didn't get that memo. Well, I'm sorry, darling. I'll be right back. Would a cupcake kill you? And lastly, you're for sure a member of a country club and you have your wife, probably a second or third wife, that has tennis lessons about three to four days a week. The second timepiece is a Rolex day date, either a four digit or a five digit reference. So that's the vintage 36 millimeter size day date. This watch says that you're well over 40, but if you're not, then this was a timepiece that was given to you by your grandfather, so you keep it for sentimental value. If you wear this timepiece as a daily, you're for sure an older white man with gray hair that has a tan like Donald Trump. I'm really rich. The timepiece has a stretched president bracelet but you don't really care because it looks good when it's on your wrist. This vintage day date could also say this about you, that you're a snowbird, which means that you live in a state where there's four seasons and you travel to Florida during the winter just to relax and play golf, or you live in Texas. <clears throat> the third timepiece is a Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. This timepiece says that you appreciate watches, but you're not crazy enough yet. Keyword yet to purchase a timepiece that's over $1,000. Can't do it. Just give it a year or two of watching YouTube videos like mine and you'll cross that $1,000 barrier. You'll fully catch the watch bug once you gain a group of friends that own a couple of high-end pieces like Rolexes and APs. And once you get those pieces in your hand, you'll quickly realize that your Tissot PRX is a toy in comparison to the AP that some of these other people own. Yo, kill me with this shit. And if it's not obvious yet to you guys that this person that owns the Tissot PRX is someone that really wants an AP Royal Oak but just can't afford it yet. That guy's got a family to think about. The next timepiece is the Omega Seamaster 300. This timepiece says that you're a fanboy of the James Bond movies. If you have a smaller wrist, you are for sure conflicted between the 41 and the 36 because the 41 was the size that James Bond wore in the movies. But since your wrist is smaller, you decided to go with the 36 millimeter. You're such a fanboy of Omegas that you defend Omega as being better than Rolex on forums or in any type of group chat community where they discuss Omegas and Rolexes. It is possible that you have more than one Seamaster because the look of the Seamaster changed throughout the years. From the movie GoldenEye to Die Another Day, they had the same design, but once it got past the first four movies, the design changed to a completely different look where the timepiece had a black bezel and a black dial and i think i like this design better they kept the look of the black bezel and the black dial for a while they changed the design back to the design of the reference in 1995 but they just changed the colors on this timepiece i want you guys to comment down below which one of the seamasters you guys prefer the fifth and last timepiece is the patek philippe color 5227 this timepiece says that you're sophisticated. You probably wear a suit five days a week and on your days off, you wear jeans with new balances and a blazer. This Patek Collar Traveler tells me that you have a degree. You could be an entrepreneur, you could be in real estate development, anything like that, but you're someone that has a degree 
and believe that having a degree is important no matter what career field you're in. And lastly, if you wear a Patek Philippe Calatrava, I might guess that you own a Porsche and most likely it's a 911 Turbo S because it's sporty but classy at the same time. Guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, share the video, and stay tuned for some more videos.